I have reason to believe that Mr. Strayhorn may have been involved with the assassination of Bruno Diaz. Really, to be honest, that seems like a bit of a stretch. I know, I know. I've seen his picture. He looks like a guy that likes to dress up and go to Comic-Con. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Today, I will teach you how to track the movement of a person's head. First, we prepare the video material, then find the tracker and select stable motion. Then, we adjust the range of this box and move it to the person's face to lock the position of their nose. Click to start automatic tracking. After completing the tracking, click on Apply and select X and Y so that the head tracking motion of the character is completed. I have reason to believe that Mr. Strayhorn may have been involved with the assassination of Bruno Diaz. But sometimes there may be black borders, and there are two ways to solve this problem. The first method is to enlarge the image and fill the entire frame. I have reason to believe that Mr. Strayhorn may have been involved with the assassination of Bruno Diaz. The second method is to find the effects section, find, stylish, and then select dynamic splicing. Change the values of output width and output height to 200. And then select mirror edge. This solves the problem of black borders. I have reason to believe that Mr. Strayhorn may have been involved with the assassination of Bruno Diaz.